All right, I'm in the pilot's uh, <laughs> pilot's pilot's handbook of aeronautical knowledge. This would be in chapter four. This would be page four fourteen. Longitudinal stability, pitching. In designing aircraft, a great deal of effort is spent in developing the desired degree of stability around all three axes. But longitudinal stability about the lateral axis is considered to be the most affected by certain variables of various flight conditions. Longitudinal stability is the quality that makes an aircraft stable about its lateral axis. It involves the pitching motion as the aircraft's nose moves up and down in flight. A longitudinal unstable aircraft has a tendency to dive or climb progressively into a very steep dive or climb or even a stall. Thus, an aircraft with longitudinal instability becomes difficult and sometimes dangerous to fly. Static longitudinal stability or instability in an aircraft is dependent upon three factors. Location of the wing with respect to the center of gravity, location of the horizontal tail surfaces with respect to the center of gravity, and area or size of the tail surfaces. In analyzing stability, it should be recalled that a body free to rotate always turns about its center of gravity. To obtain static longitudinal stability, the relation of the wing and tail moments must be such that if the moments are initially balanced and the aircraft is suddenly nose up, the wing moments and tail moments change so that the sum of the forces provided provides an unbalanced but restoring moment which in turn brings the nose down again. Similarly, if the aircraft is nose down, the resulting change in moments brings the nose back up. Uh, The CL is most asymmetrical airfoils uh, is in most asymmetrical airfoils has a tendency to change its fore and aft positions with the change of angle attack. All right, this would be uh, center of gravity. So what is CL center of? Uh, mm -mm 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 -mm. Pitching. Okay. So Well, the CL is most asymmetrical airfoils has a tendency to change in fore and aft positions with a change in ang in the angle of attack. The CL tends to move forward with an increase in angle of attack and to move aft with a decrease in angle of attack. CL must just be longitudinal stability, uh, the center of longitudinal stability. Uh, this means that when the angle of attack of an airfoil is increased, the CL, by moving forward, tends to lift the leading edge of the wing still more. This tendency gives the wing an inherent quality of instability. CL is also known as the center of pressure. Figure 4-20 shows an aircraft in a straight and level flight. The CGCLT represents the aircraft's longitudinal axis from the center of gravity to a point T on the horizontal stabilizer. Let's see. Okay. That's longitudinal stability. All right. Most aircrafts are designed so that the wings uh, CL is is to the rear of the center of gravity. This makes the aircraft's nose heavy and requires that there be a slight downward force on the horizontal stabilizer in order to balance the aircraft and keep the nose from continually pitching downward. Compensation for this nose heaviness is provided by setting the horizontal stabilizer at a slight negative angle of attack. The downward force thus produced holds the tail down, counterbalancing the heavy nose. It is as if the line center of gravity CLT were a lever, were a lever with an upward force at CL and two downward forces balancing each other. One a strong force at the center of gravity point and the other a much lesser force at point T, downward air pressure on the stabilizer. To better visualize this physics principle, if an iron bar were suspended at point CL, they're showing it right below the wheel, with a heavy weight hanging on it at the CG, it would take downward pressure at point T to keep the lever in balance. Ah, yes, the horizontal stabilizer. 
Even though the horizontal stabilizer may be level, when the aircraft is in level flight, there's a downwash of air from the wings. This downwash strikes the top of the stabilizer and produces a downward pressure, which at certain speed is just enough to balance the lever. The faster the aircraft is flying, the greater this downwash and the greater the downward force on the horizontal stabilizer, except the T-tails. Figure 4-21 in aircraft with fixed position horizontal stabilizers, the aircraft manufacturer sets the stabilizer at an angle that provides the best stability or balance during flight at the design cruising speed and power setting. If the aircraft speed decreases, the speed of the airflow over the wing is decreased. As a result, this decreased flow over air over the wing, the downwash is reduced, causing a lesser downward force on the horizontal stabilizer. In turn, the characteristic nose heaviness is accentuated, causing the aircraft's nose to pitch down more. This places the aircraft in a nose low attitude, lessening the wing's angle of attack and drag and following the airspeed to increase. As the aircraft continues in the nose low attitude and its speed increases, the down, downward force on horizontal stabilizer is once again increased. Consequently, the tail is again pushed downward and the nose rises into a climbing attitude. As the climb continues, the airspeed again decreases, causing a downward force on the tail to decrease until the nose lowers once more. Because the aircraft is dynamically stable, the nose does not lower as far this time as it did before. The aircraft requires enough speed in, in this more gradual dive to start it into another climb, but the climb is not as steep as the preceding one. After several of these diminishing oscillations, in which the nose ultimately rises and lower, the aircraft finally settles down to a speed at which the downward force on the tail actually counteracts the tendency of the aircraft to dive. When this condition is attained, the aircraft is once again in balanced flight and continues in stabilized flight as long as this attitude and airspeed are not changed. A similar effect is noted upon closing the throttle. The downwash of the wings is reduced in the force at T and figure 4-20 is not enough to hold the horizontal stabilizer down. It seems as if the force at T on the lever were allowing the force of gravity to pull the nose down. This is a desirable characteristic because the aircraft is inherently trying to regain airspeed and reestablish the proper balance. Power or thrust can also have a destabilizing effect and an increase of power may tend to make the nose rise. The aircraft's designer can offset this by establishing a high thrust line, wherein the line of thrust passes above the center of gravity. Figures 4-23 and 4-24. In this case, as power or thrust is increased, a moment is produced to counteract the down, the down load on the tail. On the other hand, a very low thrust line would tend to add to the nose up effect of the horizontal tail surface. Conclusion, with center of gravity forward of the CL line, uh, the lateral line, the center of the lateral, <laughs> and and with an aerodynamic tail down force, the aircraft usually tries to return to a safe line as attitude. The following is a simple demonstration of longitudinal stability. Trim the aircraft for hands-off control in level flight. Then momentarily give the controls a slight push to nose aircraft, uh, slight push to nose the aircraft down. If within a brief period the nose rises to the original position and stops, the aircraft is statically stable. Ordinarily, the nose passes the original position that of level flight and series of slow pitching oscillations follows. If the oscillations gradually cease, the aircraft has positive stability. If they continue unevenly, the aircraft has neutral stability. If they increase, the aircraft is unstable. We'll hold off there. That was page uh, 416, 415, 416. Look at some pictures. All right. So I already did that uh, first picture. Just showing the basics in uh, straight and level flight. Uh, there's that CO. And the thrust. So that's a big one looking at the tails, the horizontal stabilizer. All right, so we'll hold off. Uh, let me see. Hold on. We'll see if it's on the next page. We'll run through all those real quick. So thrust, we're showing uh, the angle of attack. Okay, so we'll hold off there. 
Alright guys, it's chapter 4, page uh, 415, 416. See ya.